What's up, what's up, what's up? Right now, right here with Shan Mu and Joan. Hi. There is something really special because you guys all know that one of my favorite actresses, who is it? Jackie. Yes, it's Jacqueline's cousin. So I realized Joan has the perfect Indian skin if you guys look at it. It's really nice and dusky. So today I'm going to try to create this Indian beauty, which she's a Sri Lankan beauty, but I'm <laughs> trying to get this Indian beauty. And you guys can see how I'm going to create this. So guys, I went to London recently and I found this amazing product by Estee Lauder. Nutritious Microalgae. Exactly guys. This toner is really amazing. You guys have to shake it really well. This product is magic because I've been using it on films and it makes your skin so nice and clean. It has a good pore minimizing products in it. So what it does is it really helps to close all your pores. I was against primers before. So Smashbox people told me, Shan, you have to try out the photo finish primerizer, which is primer plus moisturizer, which is unbelievable, guys. On the recent film I'm working on, it's a big film, which has a lot of lives. We are doing a lot of international trips. For that film, I'm using this product, one must to have in your kit. So I'm using it on my favorite Fenty Beauty brush, which I think every makeup artist has. It gives your skin such a nice smooth effect. And also I'm going to apply the same moisturizer on her neck also. I'm going to bring down John's color like some three, four, five shades darker. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Pink Glove, which gives you really nice shine on your skin. So I'm going to mix multiple bases and I'm going to use, of course, the iconic Bobbi Brown Honey Color. From my second movie, I started using this color. It gives you nice coverage. And to make the color really deep and dark, I'm going to use the WN Gold by Clinique because it has a really nice golden undertone to it and it will give you a bronzed gold effect. Now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the La Mer, you know La Mer, right? Of course! Everybody loves it, it's one of the best brands in the world. I'm using the color Honey 43, one drop of it because La Mer gives a really nice coverage. So I'm going to mix now all these amazing colors together and you get this really nice dark shade. I am using this amazing wonder brush by Clinique which is really amazing for base which I've been using since this trip. It's very easy for me to blend the base and it really covers up the whole face it's a really nice brush and what I like in all the mix of these products are that it still gives a really nice shine to your face it also gives you a really nice bronze glow and make sure when you guys are doing this bronze kind of a look make sure that's all over your face and neck so that you guys don't have two different shades now for contouring I'm using the Tom Ford face contour palette and I'm going to use this also on her whole face a little bit so that I get that really nice dusky skin tone. So first, give a cut for the contour here. Now you guys can see the beautiful sun kiss. You can see Joanne already going three, four shades darker. Now I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Coral Number no. 2 shade blush, which is really amazing on Indian skin. I used this before on Lisa, if you guys have seen on my masterclass. I've used it a lot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply very little on the apple of the cheeks to get that little color. Concealing and the under eyes, I'm using light to medium uh, magic wand by Bobbi Brown. So to now, to finish off the makeup, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Loose Powder, which is amazing. I'm using the uh, medium color. I'm going to just run the powder under the eyes, on the laugh lines, and in the middle of the forehead. We are done with the base now. Now it's time for the eyes. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Lit Primer. It's really nice and brown in color. And you guys can also use it, it's really good for smoky eyes. 
So guys, like always now, it's time to make a crease and I'm using my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and my favorite color, Amber, which is a beautiful color to create a crease. This color is beautiful for South Asian people. Now I'm using the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 Palette which is one of my favorite reds it has it's known as the everyone's darling a beautiful color guys to enhance your crease more and make it more deeper sing it with my fingers so that it has no strong line and it blends really well with the skin now to pop up the eyes i'm using eye sparkle eyeshadow by bobby brown it's called all spice it's a beautiful, beautiful shade, guys. I'm going to use this only in the lid. Now I'm using by MAC eyeshadow, everyone's darling, again on the lower lid. So I'm using this beautiful, shiny eyeshadow again, only in the middle of the eye. Now it's time to curl the lashes. Eyelash curling is one of the most important things you guys have to do. So there are two ways to use an eyelash curler. Either you guys can use an eyelash curler before applying the lashes or even after. Now guys, it's time for mascara and I'm using my Clinique mascara, which I like because the wand is really nice and small. So guys, to finish the eyes, what I prefer to use for looks like this, which is really natural, I like to use the individual lashes, which you guys can see. To make the eyes a little bit more dramatic, what I do is I'm going to go over the fake lashes, individual lashes, which I have used a little bit of coat of mascara. So guys, now it's time for the eyebrows and, and for this look, because we South Asians have really nice thick eyebrows. So I thought to make it really nice and thick and full, I'm using this amazing color Cordroid by MAC. I love this color and I've been using this color since really very long. And thank you for gifting me this because I love the packaging because perfect two colors you need, black and brown. To finish this look, I'm using my favorite, favorite lip liner, which is Spice by MAC. And guys, this lip liner I have used on every film, especially with Jackie. So now for the lips, I'm using the Smashbox Triple Tone Lipstick Berry Ombre. So have you ever seen this? This is amazing, right? This is a beautiful three-tone lipstick, which is dark medium and light. You can apply the dark one on top for outlining the lips and then color it in with a lighter color. Now I finished the ombre berry lipsticks but to give a coat and make it look more natural to Joanne's skin tone I'm going to use the same foundation mix to get the perfect bronze look. Now it's time for me to do the contouring bit again with a powder, which I'm using my favorite mineralized skin finish natural dark deep powder. Use it all over the face. Make sure that you guys also apply this around the cheeks, or a little bit on the forehead, and also off the side of the neck to get the contoured look. The look is almost done. Of course, for the most natural glowing look, for that definitely you need a nice highlighter. And recent love of mine is Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Sorry guys, I travel a lot and it just broke into two pieces. But guys, this color gives you such a nice shine. This is such a rich color. It really helps me to create the perfect dusky bronze look. So Joan, do you think the look is done? I don't think so. Exactly, for the photo shoot we are not ready, but see you guys in a bit with the final look. So guys, I have created the whole look and I thought to create for this photo shoot to create the drama. Here I did also really long hair. Joan, do you think you are ready for the shoot? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> don't she doesn't know. Hair. So guys, there is something always in films, we have to make sure that the body has to look exactly like the face color. Now what I, that's why I have mixed 
the palette which I used on Joanne's face. So what I do for photo shoot is I mix a little bit of baby oil. You guys can mix anything you guys want. It can be baby oil gel. It can be also a really nice thick moisturizer, whichever you guys prefer, because that gives a really nice shine. And then I take the base and apply it on the whole body where you guys can see. So guys, we finished the look and this is how we create Bollywood look. I hope you enjoy this look. How we create this, making people's 10 shades darker and getting into a character. And thank you, uh, Estee Lauder group of company for gifting me so many amazing stuff. Few of the products, I have been really addicted for my last film. I've been addicted to this product. I was a person for always saying no, no to a primer. I've been starting using primers. And it's time for us to say bye. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And if you guys really enjoyed it. Like and share. Exactly. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. And give me below what you think about this look. And see you next time. Bye. bye.